Hey there. Just want to state a number of things. The polarization in this country has reached quite some epic levels. And as I said a few months ago, I see 2016 as being a, a quite a year of conflict, a year of a lot of things coming to a head. Unfortunately, I see some with the way that so many things are going and I'll leave a link in the description bar to a video of yet someone else who's even more popular than the uh, the sensei lady I say lady in, in uh, to try to describe her in the most positive possible way of doing it because I don't really look at her very positively um but that kind of thing is catching on and there's even a uh, there's a petition to try to stop black genocide in the United States and to give Africans living in the United States 14 trillion dollars And everything is about, you know, how the how terrible white people are. The petition doesn't go that much into that, but the uh, the the link that I leave to the guy's video. This time it's a somewhat flamboyant uh, gay uh, black man who doesn't like to label himself as gay because you know that would be a white kind of term, you know. So, um, but the polarization, yeah, the left, the left has gotten their way with a lot of things where, you know, like I've talked about, you know, but, uh, Playgrounds look like enlarged toddler toys. Now schools are, there's, there's a controversy over just the game tag because it might be, it might make people who are, who are physically disabled to not be able to participate. So, you know, uh, we have to, <laughs> someone might be offended. Uh, you can't say this, you can't say that, you can't talk about subjects, you can't give someone a hug at work. Um, you know, this whole, this, all this political correctness crap from the left. And then on the right, who have quite a bit of pull, unfortunately, ones in Congress, just general right-wing politicians. Where, yeah, let's support Kim Davis for standing up for her religious convictions, but then tell the Pope who's saying things that agree a lot more with Bernie Sanders than the Republicans that well he he needs to he he shouldn't be pushing his religious convictions and shouldn't be be pushing you know he's a religious figure who who has a lot of uh uh respect and he he shouldn't be uh getting into politics like that oh but you're fine with him getting into politics when it was on your side you know it's cool to use religion to discriminate, but it's not cool to use religion to uh, to say, hey, uh, you know, we should be treating each other nice and let's look at our problems and look what we're doing to the planet and look at, look at all this stuff. Oh no, we can't have that. 
uh, this country is, is I, I'm sure this country at this point is looked at as the laughing stock of the world. Um, and the only thing countering this, the how extreme the right has become, is how is this extreme thing on, on let's make sure we don't offend anybody kind of mentality. It's... This polarization is... If we end up having a race war over the, over the, the, the shit that's been going on, and how strong the, uh, some of the sentiments in the, the Black Lives Matter movement and all that, it, it, if this, if this stuff actually creates a race war, whether literal or damn the jets, all right, I'm going to wait a second while this jet passes. But if we, whether we have a figurative or a literal race war, I don't, I don't see how it's going to bode well for this country. At this point, I'm having a hard time seeing us, this country surviving beyond 10 more years. And it's really depressing to look at. I mean, we, we, we're going to have to have some, such a major change if we're to stop this ball that's ball from rolling. If we were to stop that, we're, we're going to have to have some major change. The only hope I have right now of that happening would be like Bernie Sanders. Seems to be the only one that isn't interested in having, you know, corporate America run the government, so to speak. Um, I think it's funny that people will say that, oh, well, well you know, Trump, uh, who's a fucking idiot, Trump, uh, you know, Trump's being honest and blunt, but yeah, but he's still a Mr. Corporate America crap. Anyone who thinks he's not going to be that way, you're out of your fucking mind. Um, you know, both the left and the right have, are, if there's a, such a thing as evil, both of them are evil, but the right is the worst of the two evils. Because religion does still have quite a bit of power in this country, and it shouldn't, but it does. That's why, after all these years of, I mean, should we... we Evolution should have been taught in schools since at least the 60s. Creationism should have been removed from schools since back then, but to this day we still have creationism being taught in some schools and there's still all these arguments over whether evolution should be taught in schools and it's just like that's how much power religion still has. So I'm, I'm just I'm just kind of depressed right now about uh, the state of this country. I'm just kind of depressed about it. Man, time to wait again. Do do do. The other thing I want to discuss is you know, and I don't really care if I, it does, that shouldn't matter to me whether I lose some support from people out of this. I just got a whole bunch of new subscribers, but you know, there are some things that I need to address, okay? The way that atheism is unstoppable argues some things. I mean, 
make your points. You don't need to go into personal attacks about people's appearances or what you perceive as their habits. That's, that shit isn't necessary. And dock dropping is not... It, it isn't cool. Though at the same time, let me argue both sides of this. If you're an adult and you are getting seriously hurt over someone making fun of your appearance, you've got some issues. And when is the last time we, we've, we heard about someone who was dock dropped on YouTube? suddenly having people come to their house and threatening them or you know things like that when when has that went on so I mean I, I see both sides to that that's that part of things but I don't see it necessary I see it as rather juvenile to make fun of people's appearance as if it's some sort of a, a, an, an actual argument okay it ends up being a lot of it ends up being uh, ad homs. So, you know, that, that part of uh, atheism is unstoppable, I don't agree with. But I do agree with him being blunt about subjects, even though he doesn't usually have any actual answers to anything. He never talks about solutions, really. He just wants to bring up the problems. And people can have their own hypothesis on why he does that. We can try to figure that out, but it's we're never going to really know exactly why. Um, but we can't discuss solutions to problems if we're not discussing the problems in the first place or if we're framing the problems in ways that don't really get to the heart of the issue um, we have to get to the heart of the issue we must get to the heart of the issue or we're not going to find any solutions period So some of the things that he's doing is imp very important because other people aren't willing to do it. If it always gets talked about in these everything in the politically correct way of bringing the subjects up, not a damn thing is going to get done about it. Not a damn thing. So... You know, he has an important function. Do I agree with the way that he goes about a lot of things? No, but he has an important function. And when people completely misrepresent what he's saying, you know, because you refuse to actually look at what he's saying and, and you're focused more on the way that he says it, yeah, I'm, I'm going to side with him as, as long as that is what keeps getting done. Um, you know, I'll state again, when it comes to the race stuff, he has said over and over again that it's not the race itself, it's not someone's blackness that makes them do things. He's never said that. He's, he's claimed over and over again, hey, I am not saying this. But people are like, but, but you said, but you said, who fucking cares what, you know, he's made, he, what, he, what you perceived, what, some of the way that he worded things. Another plane, really? I was living next to a regular uh, uh, airport. It, it, they're, they're not that loud. These military planes are fucking loud. So, um, but if people are like, "Well, well, you said this this way," well, you know, he clarified. Oh, but you don't care because you said it. You said it. Eh, you said it. Eh. Fucking whiny bitches. Who, don't, who aren't interested in what people are actually trying to say. You just want something to bitch about. 
we have so many problems in this country and you're gonna sit there and just bitch about the way the way that someone said something when you know that they meant something else well we don't know that because he said it he said it he said it shut the fuck up that whiny fucking bullshit. So let's let's hope that this over this next year that uh, the amount of polarization that's happened will have some sort of positive end to it. That maybe something will happen and we'll realize how polarized it is. So we can start coming back together a little bit. And one hypothesis as to why it's so polarized is because, well, it's, it's another plane. It's a bird. It's a plane. It's super noise. But, uh... Yeah, maybe something will happen and people will get a clue. I kind of lost track of what I said because of the damn plane. So, um, I guess I'll end the video now, but...